Patterns of Biodiversity, a. Latitudinal Gradients The diversity of plants and animals is not uniform throughout the world but shows a rather uneven distribution. For many group of animals or plants, there are interesting patterns in diversity, the most well known being the latitudinal gradient in diversity. In general, species diversity decreases as we move away from the equator towards the poles. With very few exceptions, tropics, latitudinal range of 23.5 degrees north to 23.5 degrees south, harbor more species than temperate or polar areas. Columbia located near the equator has nearly 1,400 species of birds while New York at 41 degrees north has 105 species and Greenland at 71 degrees north only 56 species. India, with much of its land area in the tropical latitudes, has more than 1,200 species of birds. A forest in a tropical region like Ecuador has up to 10 times as many species of vascular plants as a forest of equal area in a temperate region like the Midwest of the USA. The largely tropical Amazonian rainforest in South America has the greatest biodiversity on Earth. It is home to more than 40,000 species of plants, 3,000 of fishes, 1,300 of birds, 427 of mammals, 427 of amphibians, 378 of reptiles and of more than 125,000 invertebrates. Scientists estimate that in these rainforests there might be at least 2 million insect species waiting to be discovered and named. What is so special about tropics that might account for their greater biological diversity? Ecologists and evolutionary biologists have proposed various hypotheses, some important ones are, 1. Speciation is generally a function of time, unlike temperate regions subjected to frequent glaciations in the past, tropical latitudes have remained relatively undisturbed for millions of years and thus, had a long evolutionary time for species diversification, 2. Tropical environments unlike temperate ones, are less seasonal, relatively more constant and predictable. Such constant environments promote niche specialization and lead to a greater species diversity and, 3, there is more solar energy available in the tropics, which contributes to higher productivity, this in turn might contribute indirectly to greater diversity.